Hey guys, I wanted to show off my brand new PC build. Uh, now I am a full-time streamer. This is my full-time job. This is a beefy build. Um, I wanted something very aesthetic. I wanted to look at it and be like, damn, that is flipping fire. And I also wanted it to overperform um, because I do edit videos, I do stream, and I game on it full-time. So yeah, let's uh, go over all the parts. All right, we are starting off with the Intel i9-12900K. Uh, this does exactly what I needed to do. I wanted it beefy and it's given beefy, you know? I did go with the G-Skill Trident, Trident Z Royal Series, 32 gigs. Uh, I did sacrifice uh, some aesthetic versus performance, but I'm okay with that, okay? Don't come for me. Uh, I went with the Tough Gamey motherboard. I literally went back and forth between motherboards so many of them sold out this is the one i got uh i had to get an 850 power supply just because my gpu is so beefy um this was recommended by one of my community members so it worked and again here is the star of the show this is the 3080 ti as one of the lucky ones i didn't have to pay over market price or anything i got it from best buy uh, it was actually a birthday present, which made this build pretty inexpensive. So shout out to my boyfriend for that. Uh, I did pick up the Kraken Z73 RGB in white. I actually debated getting in black because I'm going for like a white and black vibe. But I decided to go with the white and I'm glad I did because it goes perfectly with the fans. Um, I got two SSDs, uh, one terabyte and one 50 gigabyte or 500 gigabyte. One's for my operating system and one's for games. Uh, these are the Lian Lee fans. There's like nine of them. You gotta keep that case cool, especially when you have so much going on. Uh, I did go with the Lian Lee Dynamic 011 in white. It's beautiful. Everyone uses it. Highly recommend. Super easy to build in as well. I did get the Shimmer Plus. I didn't get the one for the GPU, but um, I just don't like the look of it, to be honest. But I love this one. Also ordered a custom backplate and matching support bracket from V1 Tech. I love Umbreon. This literally matches the build so perfectly and really pulls everything together. Um, so here we're starting off with, of course, the CPU. Installing that into the motherboard. I know it's this is probably the scariest part. If you're ever hesitant, I would definitely suggest looking at the user's manual. So once that's installed, uh, we went ahead and installed the SSDs. Um, so... I have two SSDs. One is for the operating system and then one is basically for um, games. Um, if you don't have an SSD, I highly recommend it. It makes your computer load faster, the games load faster, just everything's faster. Um, I do have two extra slots. I'm considering adding an extra uh, SSD to be honest, but I don't know. We'll see. So far, uh, it's working pretty well for me. I do have two external hard drives as well. Um, so yeah, lots of storage. <laughs> That's kind of what I wanted. Uh, my last computer, uh, I had one SSD and that thing filled up so fast. So having designated SSDs uh, definitely, I think, uh, took the burden off my PC a little bit. I do also want to say that uh, I've built two PCs before, uh, before this build. Um, I've, I've done it. I've experienced it. I know what, I, I know what to do. I just, I didn't want to build it myself. All right. So you do see, uh, some helping hands right now. It's because I'm bad at cable management and I wanted this PC to be literally perfect. So I didn't want to mess it up. The parts are very, very expensive. Um, yeah, I just wanted it to be perfect. So I chose not to build it. Don't come for me. I don't care. This is what I did. <laughs> So yeah, uh, after we installed the SSD, we put in the mounting brackets for the liquid cooler. Um, so as you can see, uh, they I did request uh, an extra, or not an extra, but a, but a bracket from NZXT. Uh, turns out I didn't need that bracket. So that was pointless. So if you have that motherboard, there is both supporting brackets for the, for the cooler. So that was good to know. I didn't know that, so you learned something.
So now we are moving on to the ram. Um, again, don't come for me. I don't care. I really love the aesthetic of this ram set. I know it's really expensive. I know I sacrificed a little bit of performance. I don't care. I love them so much. And um, I think they're flipping beautiful, especially with everything on. Ugh, it's chef's kiss. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> no one can tell me otherwise. There's such a vibe. Uh, but yeah, make sure to install them um, one in three or two and four. Look at your user manual. Um, it'll tell you what you need to do first. Um, but you, and generally, you want to stagger them and just make sure you hear the click uh, when they click in place. That means they're pretty secure. So now we're going to install the motherboard into the case. I know a lot of people are pretty finicky about this. Like some people like it towards the top, towards the bottom. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really super, super mind. So we just placed it in and then secured it with um, screws. Pretty simple, actually. So after we did this, we actually mounted the, um, the liquid cooler. Um, I didn't get any footage for this uh, just because there was a couple problems that we ran into. The liquid cooler was too big. I really wanted um, the liquid cooler to attached to the top um but unfortunately no matter which way we put it it just wasn't working um and i wasn't sure if the screen flipped i i should have just googled it but we went back and forth in um terms of figuring out what positioning we wanted to do uh but we decided to put it on the right side and just have the liquid uh, cooling tube just hang um from the right so I didn't get any footage of that just because there was some decision making and I panic. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I never want to make the wrong decision. But here we are just screwing in uh, the liquid cooler. Um, yeah, look at those fans. They look so beautiful, don't they? They match so perfectly too. Oh, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Um, and then also if you're wondering like, Britt, why didn't you use the new fans? I like the aesthetic of these better and I don't know. That's just what I preferred. I like the simplicity of them. And um, yeah, they're still super, super quiet, super beautiful. And that's not where I wanted the liquid cooler to go, but that's what had to happen. Um, so yeah. So there was a total of nine fans. Um, I actually purchased 10 because I thought I was going to put one on the left for exhaust. Um, but turns out that fan doesn't fit there. I didn't, I didn't know that. Uh, so we only did nine. Um, we do have proper uh, ventilation going through. Um, so don't worry about that. There is airflow going in and out. Don't worry. My computer's good. Uh, so here we are just plugging in um, or just routing all the cables where they're going to go. Um, we don't f like finish, like finesse the cables, I guess is the better word until a little bit later we're just trying to see uh making sure everything fits and yeah that's what we did this was my first time working with the 30 series so there was a, a small concern to make sure that everything fit pretty nicely so here we're just testing to make sure everything's pretty snug and there's still room um, for my elgato capture card and everything and as you can see it fit perfectly no issues but it's good to just make sure everything's aligning plus there was a cord um i believe from the liquid cooler that we were trying to hide too um so we're trying to see if we can like sneak that behind the gpu and it all worked out perfectly so yeah thumbs up so far so good it's always stuff like this that is always scary right especially how expensive this card is ah handle it with care that's all i can advise just, just be very careful when placing it in. But as you can see, uh, it fits perfectly. So here we are plugging in all the fans. So one of the big reasons why I went with the Leon Lee fans, although they are a little pricey, there is like little to no cords. Like everything kind of daisy chains into itself. I know with the Corsair fans, there's like three cords per fan or something ridiculous. And it causes a giant like red rat's nest like it's not the vibe we're going for simplicity this is what we wanted uh so the great thing about these is that i think it connects up to like 12 fans or something like that i had nine so they just plugged in 
um, to this little block and it was literally perfect. Like, look at the minimal wiring. Oh, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. I'm telling you, if you want minimal wires, these are the fans. These are, these are groundbreaking, truly. And then we unboxed the PSU and then started plugging in everything that we're going to need. Um, the great thing about PSUs is they come with all the cables that you need. So, but the bad thing, if you're just starting out, like building a PC, you don't need every single cord that they give. Um, so that's kind of the difficult part to figure out if you're just starting out. Um, but once you figure out what you need, just plug it in the PCU and then you can place it into the case. It's really, really simple. And here we are just securing the PCU to the case. Um, again, very, very simple. I did want to say a couple of things um, before we move on. Uh, one being, um, I am incredibly blessed to be able to do this for a living. I literally could not do this build without my community and without their support. A lot of my community members actually purchase a lot of these parts um, and then some parts I purchased myself uh, but this is a couple years in the making. I've always been wanting a new computer. Uh, my last PC was a pre-built um, and it's just been slowly dying. <laughs> so this has been a, a huge work in the making. I know it seems like a lot. It seems like an expensive build but believe me I prepared for it. Um, and without the help of my community, this just literally wouldn't be possible. So big shout out to the fam bam. I love you guys so, so, so much. And this build is basically our build. So thank you. This is always my least favorite part, which is like the cable management part, making sure everything fits. So here we are putting in the a cable extension from the motherboard into the PSU or the streamer cable into the PSU. Um, it fit perfectly, so that was good. Um, there is a lot of wires here, but don't worry, we will take care of that. Just make sure everything's all plugged in, and then we're gonna run a boot test. The boot tests are always scary for me because it's kind of like, did you do it right? And when we turned it on, it didn't turn on. Woo! That's okay! You know, it's not the end of the world. Just make sure, um, go back and plug in, like secure the plugs. That's basically what we had to do, um, before the, the boot test actually, actually worked. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show this because, you know, not every build is perfect. You know, sometimes you're, you're going to run into problems and it's okay. It is okay. Um, so here we are. Uh, we got it to turn on, but then we noticed that the fans weren't turning on. We're like, hmm, what did we do wrong here? So again, just secure those little plugs and then boom, it turns on. <laughs> did I scare you? I hope not. Sorry. A little, little excited this morning. So, so here's some close up footage that I got because I literally couldn't stop looking at it. I've never had an aesthetically pleasing PC. I've always had just literal junk that, you know, kind of made it through. <laughs> like I mentioned before, I'm a full-time streamer. Um, I use an Elgato capture card to capture my DSLR camera as my webcam. So we're just installing that right there under the graphics card, just using one of the brackets that is already there. Again, very, very simple. Um, and I loved that the support bracket that I got literally covers the Elgato bracket. So we're able to put that on the same bracket um, just because, you know, aesthetics, okay? We like performance and the vibes, the aesthetics. We wanted both, we got both. Like Ariana Grande up in this bish. 
but yeah here we are uh just uh screwing that in it was really really simple i just we just wanted to see like measure it make sure that we could put it on the same bracket to hide the elgato card um and yeah it was literally perfect we just screwed that in and then we worked on the back plate for the gpu v1 tech did an amazing job creating this all i had to do was just tell them what gpu i had and they created a perfectly custom fitting back plate I think it really pulls the look together. I was worried because my GPU was so dark, but clearly it literally pulls everything together. Mmm, the vibes. And here we are trying our first post and it posted on the first try, which was a relief to me. Um, if yours isn't posted, I don't know, man, cry. I would, I'm just kidding. It's gonna be okay. Just <laughs> trust the process, trust the process. <laughs> And for your eyes only, we have some peel porn for you. This was probably my favorite shot. Oh, perfect. Oh, so good. Um, and then here is the liquid cooler. Not as satisfying, but of course we have to do the big pull. The one, the only. Oof, oof, oof. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready for this journey. And we good. Oh, here we go. A moment. A moment. When she takes it off. Oof. But that is the build. Thank you guys so much for watching. And a big shout out to my community. Uh, for making this build possible, truly. Thank you guys so much and have a good one.